Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I'm working on the Kadas Edge 2. So I have to shake it. You see, I can turn the screen. Just let's record this. So I am working on the Kadas Edge 2 and uh, I wanted to show you something, so uh, oh wow, I haven't shown that yet, so the Kadas Vim 4 has it too, so this, and you can also install it on the Kadas Vim 3, on this one, and this is the Kadas Vim 2, I've got a lot of Kadas Vim boards, so we are gonna take a look at oh wow, so here I am in Android, so uh, this is Android 12, I think it is. I've got a lot, a few things that are installed, so a few things to play games. So I've got uh, Ether SX2 to play uh, PlayStation 2 games, and it works pretty well. I've got a few other PlayStation 2 emulators, so I've got the PPSPP. I've got YouTube and YouTube Studio, Vivaldi Browser, so I would like to test a Linux image, but I do not want to get rid of this image, of course. So what you can do, so you press the middle button and then you press this button to reboot and keep the middle button pressed. For the Kadas Vim 3 you have to install OWOW first, so as you see it is now booting into OWOW. So here is OWOW, I am first waiting for my network to wake up, ok, I am connected, so let's continue. So here we've got three different images that I can install, so there's Android 12, what's on the EMMC right now, there is Ubuntu 2204 GNOME, so uh, with the GNOME desktop, and there is Ubuntu 2204 server, so without the desktop. So first to show you, I've got my image uh, on my uh, EMMC, I don't want to lose it. I've already backed it up, but I'm gonna show you. So here you can go to dump image from EMMC. There you go to location. Here you choose a location. So for me, USB. And if we look down here, then we see that there is an image. So that is the image that I already created. Uh, that is the Android image. So I'm not so to select your location you go here USB and then to select it just select that one uh, and select that and then start but I am going to cancel so to write that image we go here right then we select our image okay and then write i'm not gonna do that right now because i want to test the ubuntu so let's go to the wizard continue and i'm going to install ubuntu gnome here we go download i like OWOW a lot uh, for the Kadas Vim 4 there are a few more images, so there is a Debian image right now, Debian Bullseye I think. There is also a Core Elec image, there are two Android images, Android 32 bits, Android 64 bits. Uh, so for the Kadas Vim 4 there are a few more images, also Ubuntu of course. And the H2 is still new, so it doesn't have that many images. Do know if you want to buy these boards, it will take a while, it will take months before they are really useful. 
right now the images aren't that good well the android images are very good right now uh, in android there is the google play store pre-installed right now so that was a thing that wasn't there when i made the android video but i like these boards a lot i really love them so i was using the Kadas Vim 4 in Android, so I've got an Android image on here, the 64-bit Android image with a lot of uh, emulators, so also to play PlayStation 2 games, PSP, uh, Nintendo 64, I've got a lot of emulators on that and I love my Kadas Vim 4 for that. But this is a bit more powerful. Strange thing is, I've seen it is more powerful in the PlayStation 2 emulation. That it does a lot better than the Kodos Film 4. But then again, when I installed PPSSPP, then this performs worse than the Kodos Film 4. And I really don't know why that is. I got... To make it perform well but I had to disable some features and then I could even use scaling I'm babbling so it is installed so no it is downloaded now I have to install it And it is that easy just to install a new image and I've got my backup so my backup is on here on a an SD card and all my games are on that SD card too so the Ubuntu images aren't that great there is uh, Wayland it is Wayland accelerated but that isn't the same as uh, having good GPU drivers like Panfrost for X11. Most programs and most games, certainly the games, are uh, written for X11, not written for but uh, or uh, or build it for X11 and uh, so not much works when you have Wayland. So here we go. Ubuntu is installed. Ubuntu GNOME. We just reboot. It is a very nice SBC. It is very thin. It is. Let me show you. I love the LEDs. The LEDs change from color, but. Uh, not in one yeah you can see the led is no it isn't changing but well i love the leds it is very thin but but there is no sd card reader there is no nvme there is also no hdmi in uh, the kadas film 4 has hdmi in there is also no ethernet so it is missing a few things so here we are in the Ubuntu image and the password is Kadas. Here we are. So let's first connect Wi-Fi. Now what I really would like is for these images to be able to run from USB or SD and also eMMC. They are working on it. I've seen there are images. I've tried it on the Kadas Edge but I wasn't able to boot it from a USB so maybe I was doing something wrong. I don't, I don't think so. 
So that would be nice if I could run uh, Ubuntu on USB and then uh, Android from EMMC. Then it is a dual boot. Well, not really dual boot, but I've got dual images. Now there is only the EMMC, so that makes it a bit hard. You cannot test other things without erasing the EMMC. So, uh, the Kada Swim, uh, the Kada Edge 2 really is limited. It isn't for everybody. It is actually made, I think, for digital signage. There can be four displays. Uh, so you've got the HDMI, then there is the extra uh, USB-C. So that can be used for DP. Uh, then there are two... Uh, ports for uh, display so oh i am pressing my keyboard so one is for display the other two and another for camera i suppose so you can attach four displays and for that it is really great so i think it is designed for digital signage and for that it is perfect I do like it a lot, so I did sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, now let's do a 7-zip benchmark. Just for fun, this is not a review, this is just some messing around. The review will come in a few weeks, you will have to be patient. I do not want to make this review too quickly, so what I look for is here only decompression and it is 17,000 so that is quite high but that doesn't say so much benchmarks don't prove anything benchmarks or just benchmarks it is just a test this shows how well it can decompress Nothing else, just how well it can decompress. Oh yeah, there's something cool that I should show you. So sudo apt install super tux card. And there was some thing. So there is no browser installed. I have to watch on my other PC. Kados Docs. H2 application notes. Chromium with WebGL. So we can install Chromium browser with uh, support, with GPU support. Of course, we can also install Firefox, and Firefox works best for uh, watching video, but uh, Chromium can be used for websites that uh, depend on GPU access. I have gotten the Kados Edge from a colleague at Armbian, so thank you. He knows who he, who he is. I don't know if I may say his name. Thank you, RP. I really love it. So it is the Kados Edge 2 Pro. It has got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes. The EMMC is uh, 64 gigabytes. I wished it would have been 128 gigabytes. It is a premium board. It should have a premium EMMC, but it is a fast EMMC. It is faster than all the others that I've got, so that is good. And of course it has the Orca 3588S suck. No SDL video driver equals Wayland. I think it's this 
Yes. No audio. And this is fast. No single player. This is the test that I often do to check GPU performance. And you can already see 100 frames a second. This is the fastest that I've ever seen this. So this gets more than 100 frames, 110 frames. So I've done the same with the Kadas Film 4 and this only gets 50 frames a second. So this is uh, double the frames. So it is a very powerful board. I'm gonna leave it at this for this video. This was uh, something special that I've never done before. I hope you like it. It is a uh, low effort. So uh, this was the Kadas Edge 2, uh, the review video is coming in a few weeks. Thank you all for watching, see you later, bye!